What's up guys, want to do another quick uh, little video of something I watched last night that I uh, just wanted to do a review of because I was really pleasantly surprised by it and it is The Other Hell put out by Severin and it's directed by Bruno Matai written by Claudio Fregrassi who did a uh, Rats, The Night of the Living Terror and he directed Troll 2 noted as one of the best worst movies ever made but this uh this is a non-sploitation satanic type movie from 1980 or yeah 1980 and from what i understand about this i watched some of the interviews and the special features from what i understand is that there was another non-sploitation movie being filmed right using the same exact actors, same sets, same costumes, and they just used uh, film two movies to save money. So I guess that's what they did in Italy back then, but um, I didn't expect much from this at all. This came out on Easter with Dark Waters, which I love Dark Waters with a passion, but I had never heard of this movie before ordering it, and uh, I pre-ordered both of them and I was just waiting for a good time to watch them. I had seen Dark Waters before years ago, but I'm going to review that up on this channel uh, probably next, actually. But uh, this is the first one I watched. I kind of wanted to get this one out of the way to make room for uh, Dark Waters, but I like this a lot more than I really was expecting. Um, you know, this woman, she's getting possessed by the devil, and there's this uh, there's a lot of different things going on. There's this one nun. She's one of the head nuns in this place. She is you could tell there's something up with her. She's protecting uh, Satan. And one thing I gotta say before I move on is that's one of the downfalls of this film. Is Satan looked terrible in this movie. Uh, he looked really cheap. The effects were bad for him. But that's just one gripe. And that was. Like one, I think that may be the only gripe I have with this movie because I really enjoyed the performances. I loved, uh, I loved the setting of it. It was a, a real nunnery that was uh, decommissioned or whatever, so they filmed there, and you know everything looks authentic. There's are some genuinely creepy moments in it. Uh, the performance of the main nun, who I don't want to give away twists or whatever to people who who haven't seen it, but there's kind of a twist with the main nun in this, and you find out what's going on with it all and why she's protecting Satan and all that. And uh, I, the performance of that woman, I really, really enjoyed. It was really crazy, really demented. And uh, there's actually an interview with her on the special features actress Franca Stoppi. And uh, oddly enough, I'm kind of ashamed to say it, but. She was so evil and demented in the movie, but I was like really attracted to uh, the actress for some reason. I don't know if it was the character or the actress or what, but I don't know. I thought she was really hot, but other than that, uh, I, I guess I'm going to talk about the transfer real quick. If you get this, I wouldn't expect a uh, you know a beautiful, beautiful transfer. There are some good shots of close-ups of them some good outside shots where it looks crisp but overall the grain in this movie is really really thick uh from what i understand though this is a huge step up from uh the old i don't know if it came out on shriek show or what but there was an old dvd release of this but i guess this is a huge step above that but if you've never seen this movie at all i'd expect don't expect a good transfer because it, it's just it's not good uh but i really enjoy the movie and i'm taking people's word for it that it's that much better than shriek shows but uh i'm still glad to have this you could probably find it for 15 or 16 bucks on amazon or wherever you get movies but yeah definitely pick this up i love it it was sleazy it was a lot of screaming a lot of nuns there's a lot of stabbings uh this old nun takes one of the other nun's babies and they got to abort it or whatever so he like they take the nun or they take the baby and put it in a a cold a boiling cauldron and everything and it's and i've actually i uh, found out on the behind the scenes that baby and the uh that they burn in the cauldron is actually the daughter of bruno matai i think they said which i thought that was really cool but yeah, I definitely recommend this. Definitely pick it up. I really enjoyed it. Uh, I don't know how much love it's getting. I've seen a few people review it. I know homie Jeremy Freeman from 22 Shots 
uh, reviewed it and he wanted to see uh, what other people thought so if you're checking this out I really love this movie it's a uh, it, awesome awesome one of my favorite purchases of the year as far as blind complete blind buys go and another thing I wanted to add to that blind buy was uh, they gave you an option it may still be on the website but the director of Dark Waters that uh, Mario, Mario Bano and Claudio Fergrassi, the writer of this other hell, and he directed Troll 2. I guess they were at a convention with Severn Films, and Severn gave them a bunch of uh, like covers of these movies for them to sign. And they sent out a link saying, if you can upgrade for $10, we can send you the signed covers too, if you wanted to you know, reverse them out and do things. But I, had just, I got them both. I decided to frame them, so... Since I'm reviewing the other hell, I figured I'd just show it off, but it's that Claudio Fergrasso signature, who, uh, that's another signature I never thought I'd ever get, is, uh, the director of Troll 2, uh, and the, his autograph, that's, it's just really cool. I don't know a lot of people if they have that, other than the people that ordered the Severn thing, but, you know, you just can't go wrong. I decided to frame the covers instead of putting them in, uh the cases but i'm really glad to have that but i was more glad to have the mario bano's autograph from dark waters because i love that movie more but you know severin is knocking it out of the park recently with their releases with kathy's curse and a bunch of them you know i've been really i've been really high on a uh, uh severin recently but i gotta say too i've, I've said on the podcast i on many times tumbling podcasts of flesh that uh Inner Vision, their little sub label. It's uh, mostly like 90% DVDs they put out, but they put out a lot of old, uh, like shot on video stuff. Like they're my, right now it's weird because Scream Factory era, all them, they're killing it, but honestly, Inner Vision's my favorite label right now. They, they've just been releasing gold. They've done Dark Harvest, and it was paired with a, uh, an anthology film they paired it with with uh, Vincent Price called Escapes that I really enjoyed you know they put out classics like Burning Moon uh, just a thing Sledgehammer these are shot on video classics I mean I'm trying to think of what they put out this year that I really really enjoyed I mean obviously the Dark Harvest I love Dream Stalker it was Dream Stalker was paired with something like Romance by Love or something like that, some name. But I really enjoyed that release. They got a release coming up called Suffer the Children or Suffer Little Children, that I'm uh, I really want to see. It looks really good. You know, they released Phobe, which is a Canadian sci-fi movie, like an alien ripoff from, and uh, just tons of stuff. If you've never bought an Intervision release, definitely check them out i love them all their cases come in white except they have one blu-ray release and that's uh well as far as i know that's called feed the light that was really good it's an hp lovecraft uh type of type deal and there's one intervision title that i haven't seen well they have a couple like uh erotic type movies that i have no interest in i mean i don't really want to uh i don't know i can't really explain it too well but i i just have no interest in that uh, if I'm watching a horror movie, I want to see horror, blah, blah, blah. If I want, you know, that kind of stuff, there's other options than a, an erotic thriller or something from uh, Intervision or whatever. But that's one of the reasons I never got into Jess Franco and all that. But regardless, there's one Intervision title I have in the mail that I'm excited to check out, excited to review. And that's uh, The Secret Life of Jeffrey Dahmer. I've never seen it. I've been meaning to pick it up for a while. Saw it for a good price, so I ordered it. But uh, other than that, yeah, my next few reviews, little updates on the next few reviews. I'm going to do Dark Waters. I got the uh, Vinegar Syndrome edition of Slaughterhouse I want to review. Just a bunch of stuff. I'm going to do a Maniac Cop uh, retrospective. Uh, just a ton of stuff in the pipeline. And then as far as the podcast goes, do a little plug on that. Uh, we have a, we're recording a new episode literally right after this video. And we're doing um, Salem's Lot because it's Stephen King month. And then a next Sunday, which I'll be, it'll probably be my most uh, episode I'll be pushing the most because it's the one I'm most excited about. We're doing It, the original, and then uh, It, the uh, 
we're going to go to the theaters and see the new it and do a OG versus remake type thing where we're going to compare the two, review them, whatever. But we're just giving tribute to Stephen King this month. And uh, the week after that, we'll do Cat's Eye and some other stuff. But uh, yeah, so there's that. And uh, we're also on Tumbling Podcast of Flesh. I'll link the video down below here. But we're actually doing a giveaway this month. Uh, we'll discuss it more on the podcast, but this is something BDG reviews that just let me know about, but we're doing a, a giveaway. I guess we're giving away three copies of it on Blu-ray. I'm going to talk to him more about that on the podcast that we're going to record here in a few minutes, but uh, when I link this on pages and stuff, and if people see it, it'll be uh, it'll be right connected with the episode, talking about the giveaway, and uh, I'll, I'll try to get the rules and link them below on what's going on. Like I said, this is a BDG Reviews that just told me about this literally two hours ago, so I don't know much about it, but uh, yeah, just keep your eyes peeled and we'll get all that info to you. But anyways, guys, peace.